Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Happy Easter everybody. I'm going to release this video on Easter. I thought I would come at you with a what I sold and why video as well as show you how I am styling my Mulberry Mini Base Water in the acrylic green. So I'm gonna show you two of the outfits I'm pairing with this bag today. One of them I have on, and the other one I'm just gonna show you the outfit hanging on my closet door so that you can get an idea of what I'm thinking. But I have this beautiful springy plaid top on as well as like a minty green t-shirt and I am pairing this bag with this look and I am using the thicker strap that comes with the bag to complete this outfit. So let me stand up real quick and I'll show you. So here is the outfit I'll put together. I have to squat down a little bit to fit in the screen but I do have some kind of washed grayish colored denim to pair with the darker parts of the plaid top and I really like this look together. I can fit my phone in this bag super easily with all of my regular things inside except for one of my Louis Vuitton clays. I can fit it in, but it's a little too tight. And in that other clay, which is this one, I mean, I can fit it inside and I can probably still fit my phone inside too, no problem but it just gets to where it's a little bit harder to maneuver around inside when I have both of those in there. And so for that reason, I am not carrying my clay that has all my gift cards. I rarely use any of those anyway. I need to look through them and figure out what exactly I have so that I can use them. That would be a good idea because this is like free money in here that I'm not using. Do you guys do that with gift cards? Like completely forget to use them? It is horrible. It's not just me though. My parents do the same thing. They hate gift cards for that reason. I love them, but it is hard to get to all the restaurant type things in terms of gift cards for us because when we go, we forget we have them or we don't have them with us and we just don't have time to actually go out to eat that often. And so for that reason, I carry those around and then I just never end up using them. But this little bag holds everything else. My phone fits very comfortably inside with all those things. And it's very easy to open and close once I removed the little clochette lock thing. I don't like having that on because it makes it just cumbersome to close the bag. So I went ahead and removed it. For a while I had it hanging from one of these and I just took it off. Now tomorrow for Easter, I've got a dress planned. I'll put that clip in right now and show you with a little jacket that I may not wear. And for that dress, I am pairing it with this bag with the silver chain. And I think the silver chain shows in the picture that I took, but I think it's gonna be a fun little pop of this minty green color. Now I mentioned at the beginning I was going to show you what I have sold or what I'm selling and I'm going to do that right now. So I decided to sell my Cassie 19 in the faded blue and it is already sold. I mean it's sold like in seconds when I posted it. So I posted it. It has the 1941 hang tag which I sourced for it. I had a video about doing that and I also am keeping the chain that it came with, but including the leather straps and another chain that is like a silver chunky link chain instead. And I packaged it all up with a Coach 1941 dust bag. If you guys are not familiar with Coach 1941 dust bags, they're a lot thicker and they're a lot nicer than the silky ones that you get with all the coach bags now. They used to, whenever you had one of those 1941 tags on your coach bag, you got to have a really nice dust bag. And when I was buying and selling a lot of coach, I ended up getting bags that didn't have the 1941 dust bag. And for that reason, I kind of scoured the internet to find some of those dust bags so that whenever I did get a bag without one, I would have 1941 dust bag to put it in. And because of that, I have all of these <laughs> dust bags that never got a bag to put in them. And I listed these on one of the Facebook groups I'm part of. And 
they haven't sold. I don't know. I think people don't really know what they are. But if you need a Coach 1941 dust bag, reach out to me. I'm just charging like $19 each. People ask crazy amounts for these. I've got two sizes. I always put my contact information down in the description box. They're $19 each with $4 shipping and only one shipping charge if you want to buy more than one. But I'll put the measurements down in the description box. Now, these do have like a few tiny, tiny little spots on them. I mean, they're not like 100% perfect. I think that one has one right there, but they look really good. I mean, I wouldn't have them if they had like something gnarly on them, but just from sitting on my shelf, like there are a couple teeny little spots. And if you want one, I will send you pictures of the exact details of that particular dust bag. So as I mentioned, I already sold the Cassie 19. It's sold in seconds. So I had posted it on my Instagram page and my YouTube community page, and I took it down because it sold within the Coach Gun Rogue Facebook group. But I do still have this really pretty like black copper chain available. And I can put the details, like the measurements of it down below as well. But I can't really see any wear and tear on it. It came from a dreamer bag and it looks a lot like, I don't know why my camera is foggy today, but the chain looks a lot like the Cassie 19 chain, but I think it's hollow. It's really lightweight. And so it's a very comfortable chain to wear crossbody. I just don't have any coach bags that have the black copper hardware anymore. And so for that reason, I was going to sell it. And it's $59 if you want to pick up a nice crossbody coach chain in black copper. So that's what I have for sale. It's not much, but I wanted to explain to you some of the coach items that I guess hit the chopping block. I recently also sold my coach Mira bag. So the Mira bag and the Cassie 19 have left. As far as some of the reasoning behind why I am selling coach, it really comes down to I'm just bored. You know, I like to constantly evolve my collection and I'm sort of moving past coach at the moment. I've done this before back and I think it was like around 2017. Coach was the only type of bags that I bought and I moved away from the brand and then I moved back to it hot and heavy during the panoramic. I mean, I was a coach collector. I had all of my closet full, chock full of coach bags. And it was kind of in the height of the 1941 line, which I absolutely love. And I really wish they would move back towards that a little more. Not to say that there aren't a lot of coach pieces that I really like. It's just whenever I think about adding one, I feel like I have something in my collection already that meets that need. Now, when it comes to some of the other pieces that I have been picking up lately, or that I think I might, I feel like they're different enough that I'm not basically duplicating something that I already have or that I would be buying it and then using something else that I already have ahead of it, if that makes any sense. I really don't want to buy anything and add it to my collection if I have two bags that I would use before it because that bag is going to just get sold and I don't want to do the buying and selling any more than I have to. So I hope that makes sense in terms of the logic behind what I'm selling. Now, as far as selling the dust bags and the chain, well, the chain, I'm not using it anymore. And the dust bags, they're just clutter in my closet. So if I can help somebody else out and they can get one of these for a bag where maybe it came without, then I would like to do that. So that in a nutshell is why I am doing what I'm doing. And I hope it makes some sort of crazy sense to all of you. I think that's going to wrap it up today. This is a super quick video. I'm kind of in a rush so I can go spend some time with family on this holiday weekend. I hope you all have a fabulous Easter. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.